we're learning just the same every day. Just the same as every person that lives on the land learns. Every day they step out their door, they encounter something new. Life is as exciting as you make it. Everyone has the ability to make their day exciting, happy, sad. We have that ability to choose to be happy because people are always searching for it. They're searching for that formula, that answer on how they can be happy instantly. It's putting that mindset into play every day. Tell yourself you're happy. What makes you, whoever's watching, happy? I wanna know. Tell us. Comment. Gosh, it's beautiful. I'll show you what's going on. Hey, darling. Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling. We could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive Hey, darling Yes What are you guys doing? Um, we are well, you told me that I need a drone permit to fly in the Bahamas. So I'm on here applying for that. It's free, but you have to do it. I don't really know why. It doesn't really make sense, but we're doing it. We're getting it done because why would we be in the Bahamas without getting those epic boat shots with the blue water? I mean, that's kind of what I'm really excited about. How many people do you think really get the permit? I don't know, but I'm making a video, so I better well say I have the permit. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, the flats. Oh, well, I was away. Brayden went shopping. What store did you go to? It wasn't West Marine. No, Blue Water Books has... Blue Water Books. It's really a neat store. They have a, a lot. Is it just a flag store? No, it's really cool. I'll take you down there. It's really neat. Um, and... Yeah, so he went he went a little crazy with flags. We got a bunch of halyard flags. The halyard uh, posts are the ones on the back. Uh, we can show you in a second. The burgee's the front of the boat. The halyards are in the back, and you're supposed to fly different flags depending on which side um, which side of the boat you're on. Um, we can't. They're courtesy flags. A lot of them are courtesy flags for the country you're coming into or quarantine or whatnot. We've got our California flag. Which one is that, Rue? Which state? I think it's kind of backwards for them, but that's our Utah. This is for, it's for the Azores, right? Yeah? Yeah, look at the quality oh on that, Oh my gosh. Though. I'm gonna cover the price up. Comment below if you could guess how much this flag is. If you get it pretty close, I don't know, Brayden, do we have like a prize we could send people? And uh, not after buying that flag, there's no prize. <laughs> We have no more money's left. <laughs> but, it's, but it's the very best quality. Just so happens that they have very best quality. You will never guess how much this stupid flag, I mean, you'll never guess how much this rad flag costs. We've got, uh, we've got Ireland, we've got Spain, we've got a lot of flags here. Uh, this is the Bravo flag. Brooks, you gotta fold those flags up. I, I will, I will. This is the Bravo flag. Do you know what this is for? Me? Yeah. Fueling. What's the Bravo flag for? It's for fueling? Uh, that, my understanding, I'm gonna use that for fueling. If I fuel from a truck, sometimes they're requesting you have a Bravo flag up. We could probably get an Alpha flag too. That means there's people in the water diving or swimming around. So if we're gonna be scuba diving at all, it's probably good to have an Alpha flag. People that know maritime flags will understand to keep a safe speed because there's divers around you in the water. So. Why don't you take the camera out and go show them where the burgee is, just point to them and show them where a halyard flag goes. Um, and then, and then, on to the big adventure of the day, which is uh, 
Finding the Steve Jobs yacht, I guess. Think we can find it? That's what we're doing until we can get out of here. Everyone's like, we want ocean videos. And we're like, so do we. We want to leave. We are ready to get out of here. But weather and parts and this and that, and anyone that owns a boat knows that it always takes longer than you think. There's always something going on. So we're doing our best to get out of here. Right? I couldn't, I cannot wait. <laughs> cannot wait. Good. So right here is our burgee, which we don't have a burgee. We need to join a yacht club. Do we need to join a yacht club? Yeah. This is something that I cannot get the kids to stop doing, but that's not a slide. That is not a slide. No, it's not a slide. Not a slide. Don't do that. No more. And... Alright, here's our flags. Going up. It's... We need some. We need flags. Do you want to put some flags up there? Mm -hmm. Do you know how to do it? No. Show me how you do it. <laughs> That's a little crazy. Put it up there. Oh, a little slower. Keep on waiting. I won't close eyes till the sun come down. What are you doing? Cleaning things. For normals. Uh, we're changing the engine belt. So we're safe when we're on our way. And I figured we might as well clean the parts while everything's taken apart. It's real fun. Amazing how dirty it gets, huh? So we have weather, which pushes our departure date for the Bahamas back a little bit, or a lot. We don't really know when we're going to leave, uh, hopefully soon. But until then, we thought we would show some of the boats in the area uh, that are in the water and out of the water, and kind of, what are we gonna show them? <laughs> I don't know. I wanna see Venus, that's what I wanna see. The most so controversial I, I like boat around. Brandon is obsessing over Venus, which is Stephen Jobs' boat. Is it Steve Jobs' boat? Uh, fam I don't even a know. family boat now, not his. It's not a boat. Yeah, that's a touchy subject. Maybe I don't know. I he tried to. I'll let him explain this part to you. Here. When Brooke was in California, I noticed that Venus on the AIS was getting some work done a little bit farther south. And so I tried to go just kind of walk the docks and see, and it turns out it's in a pretty decent marina and they do have security like most of the marinas around Wait, here. Wait, who's Venus? Not a lot of people, I don't know who that is. Oh, Venus. That's the Steve Jobs family boat now, I guess. And so that boat is, um, it's kind of controversial. It's not very nautical. Um, it's super modern. And so a lot of the, I found a lot of boat guys love to trash the boat and a lot of non-boat guys think that well just guys that just think that any Apple product is good think that that boat is um, they have a different opinion and so I just want to see it see what it looks like all right so what's our mission then we're gonna try to go so maybe it. I'll try to do it again maybe we will try to get in the gate again I think that there's a nice restaurant in there wouldn't mind eating at that it looks pretty pretty cool what's the um, marina I forgot what the name was, but it's uh, it's not in the best area of town, but it's a super nice marina in that area of town is what it seems like. So cool. if nothing else, we'll just get a drone up and we'll see if, if it's not raining. We'll see if we can get uh, just to see what that marina looks like. I think they said that they service boats um, over 120 feet. So everything should be pretty interesting. We're just getting to the marina or to the boatyard, right? We're at the boatyard. We're just yard spying. Is this what is we're what doing. we like to do. This is we like to go to different marinas and go walk the docks. So, <laughs> on our quest to find Venus, we're gonna go take a look at some of the other boats here at the yard. Just on the way. 
So, well, uh, let's go. Whoa. Well, that's a big lift. It's a big oh, lift. I have to in it. Yeah. So that Nordhaven 64 is our friend's boat that we showed earlier. They're going to be doing the crossing with us. And they're getting the bottom of their boat soda blasted. Uh, to get it ready to go across the Atlantic and clean up the bottom. There's yeah. water all over my lens, jeez. There's so many cool boats. But I'm still, I still gravita gravitate towards the Nordhaven trawler. Is there any designs you like? Like, I don't know, I'm pretty diehard. I don't really, I appreciate all the other styles of boats out there for sure, but I just, really like our boat. Well, if you gave me, if I had to work every day, I do work every day, but if I had to like be at an office every day, that's what I'd be doing on the weekend. Look at that. Yeah, they're pretty menacing looking. Do you think that that's the same ferry that they're doing the engine for? That we saw the other day? All right, give me not. The yard pull out of the oh, we want to go. Yeah, that's cool stuff. That was fun. Center console. I like that the black top. It's cool. And their bottom color is nice. Boats just look so much bigger when they're rolled out. Yeah. Ah, you just kicked paint into my face. Yeah, the sheer scale and size of a boat is kind of hard to tell, and then once it's out of the water, it just shows you how large the boats really are. It's amazing. Just look at this normal car right next to that thing. It's just so... Yeah. So big. That's half the fun, is just being around these boats and and just looking at them and all the different designs. They're all pretty, uh, they're pretty unique. If I was filming, filming Jaws, what are they on, four? Jaws, did they do Jaws three? If I was doing Jaws four, that's like a perfect boat to be in Jaws four. <laughs> Film the back of that thing. I, like I could that totally boat. It's see that cute. thing. No, it's a good boat to go and get a that shark with. like the boats I, I saw all over Ireland. The boat, it's this a good little, classic like, boat that would make a good movie poster. It would make a good, that's a great color. Yeah. That, oh, it's Ocean Quest, it's a scuba boat. Oh, uh, they don't hunt sharks? Wait, so those are like underwater windows? What kind of boat is this? No, like, not. look at the front of it. It's like a straight up and down bow, that's so interesting. That'd be cool to be underway with those windows though. What is that boat? It's sunny. It's a miracle. It's not yeah. dumping. Sit. What are you doing? Sit. Let's make sure this boat's Sit. still there. Yeah, we attempted. Sit. We wanted to try to find it, but it's been Sit. two days of solid rain trying to find um, see, Venus. See. Mm -hmm. Sit. So we're giving it a, a round two. So, like, so it looks like it's still. Where is it? Zoom in so we can all see. We'll zoom in, zoom out. Stay. It looks like it's still there. 
Well, which one is it? I can't really tell. That one right there. That huge one? Yeah, so. I wish they showed like docks or something like that, so you can't really see what it is. So we need to find a park that I can launch my drone from. Or something. Yeah, I think you can do it from right up here. But worst case scenario, if these guys don't let us in. There's this nice little restaurant right here that I'd really like to eat at, but you have to be invited. And we don't have an invite. Aww. We're here and we're just trying to get in but they're not having it. They're not about to let us into this place. We tried to tell them that uh, we're trying to meet someone for lunch, but it's only, it's really early in the morning. Um, and they, they, I'm not I'm not really fabricating a huge lie here at all, just trying to see if they'll let us in to go look at the boats, but that's not, not something that they want to let us do. There's so much glass. I know. So, we tried to get it in the front gate, didn't we? What did they tell us? No. No? They told us no. It's probably because our excuses were pretty uh, pretty weak and uh, pretty spur of the moment. Not very thought out at all. Not really very good liars, are we? Are you a good liar? I hope not. But um, we are going to try to get some drone shots now. Um, and I think that those ones should work out okay because there's a park really close. And actually, it looks really nice. It's a really pretty day. It's been raining nonstop, so we're looking forward to getting to a little beach. <laughs> 